Well, thank you guys very much for uh, the opportunity. Um, I do, uh, I have over the last 10 years had two digital marketing companies and uh, uh, one of my partners in both of those companies is joining us today, Alexander de Ritter. Um, I did put a link in a chat, uh, one to the website for Inc. and then two, a link to the affiliate program through Trusted Referral Network. I'm gonna make it really simple. You sign up clients, Every time they pay us every month, you get a check in the mailbox. So just think about that when you see the uh, the demo that Alexander is going to do. So I don't want to take up any more time. I'm going to hand it over to Alexander and he can share uh, the amazing technology that we built uh, with you guys. So I'll hand it over to Alexander. Alexander, are you there? Are you on mute? Yeah. Totally in. You missed the best humor in the world. Uh, but unfortunately, I'm out of material now. So you'll just have to take my word for it. So um, let me, treat. Yeah, let me start by showing you just how you can sign up. If you're not yet an affiliate, you go to inkforall.com and under resources, you can find the link here for affiliate partners. And then you find affiliate partner program. You can just sign up here. Anybody that gets approved for the affiliate program, which is all of you, wink, um, can earn 30% recurring commission for life. So anybody that you remotely think of can benefit from Inc. A friend, a business, an agency, right? Send them your personal link. When they sign up, you get money from that transaction. So who here has heard of Inc. before? Lots of hands. I see Gary hasn't changed. <laughs> okay. So what Inc. does is it helps you with your content marketing creation, right? So everything in a single subscription, and I'll show you how that works in a minute, mm -hmm. but you can take it all the way from keyword research to grouping, mapping that in a cluster, to writing with the help of AI while optimizing for SEO. It includes protection, like detecting if content is at risk of being flagged as AI written. It shows you how to overcome that. It includes plagiarism checking. It has a full on AI assistant to write any type of marketing copy you can think of. Emails, social, uh, blogs, landing pages, you name it, as well as AI image generation. That's a lot, right? Can you believe that this only costs, look at this, can you believe this with the plan? On a yearly plan, 39 bucks a month. That's it. I really should, um, should charge Everybody's more Everybody's on mute, so that's why you don't hear the cheering in the background. Yeah. I should really charge more money. Maybe my kids will thank me for it one day. Um, but see, you get a really nice yearly discount as well. And from what, so it's really a no brainer if you think about it, right? If you're doing content marketing, these are all tools you need. You can't live without them, right? So let's take a look at some of this. Um, let me start with the AI planner. So what's really cool is um, the, the primary topic might be the trusted, Referral network. Look, I wrote that with two R's. I mean, my school teacher would be proud of me. All right, look here. Here you can instantly know uh, some audiences that you may want to target. So maybe you're trying to target small business owners, who knows? Um, and then for the objective, it will generate ideas for you. And so maybe I want to find trusted connections in my industry. So as you do that, you hit analyze the it goes to work, right? That didn't require you to be an expert at all, right? And so as this is completing all this research, what's really cool about it is it's going to come up with keywords that are actually relevant for that specific audience. So many times we have keyword research tools that we have to browse and scroll and select and find the ones that actually make sense. This makes it dead easy. And so while I was talking, I was really buying time because it's already finished. Mm -hmm. And now I can show you what it looks like. So here you go. I have uh, a list of keywords 
got their difficulty, the cost per click, the search trend. And if I want to start writing, I had just a new document and I can instantly start writing. How easy is that? If you want to cluster them, which is a little bit more fancy, I would say, but an SEO pro or an agency, or they would know what I'm talking about, how essential this is. All you have to do is you click select these keywords and cluster selected and boom, you can now analyze this and it will instantly start clustering these keywords for you. It gives you a perfect content uh, content map that you can start writing for. It also works with drag and drop with all the major tools that the pros are using, which is also pretty neat. Now I'm gonna show you AI Writer in a moment, but I wanna show you the AI Shield because this is a real moneymaker. Um, Google is cracking down on cheap generic AI content. And so you may have heard of ChatGPT, well, here's an article that was written by ChatGPT. Whoops, 100% likely AI written. Well, if we can tell it, Google can too. And maybe you hire writers and they don't really write for you. Maybe they just use cheap AI generic content and they sell it off to you. Do you know if your site's at risk? Maybe your friends have that same question. With Inc, they can scan their website and their content, they can know they're safe. So think about this for a moneymaker. You tell people, hey, I just scanned your website. I saw there's potential some issues here, potentially. Maybe you can hire me. I can fix it. You have the technology to do it. Okay. So um, we can also check for plagiarism. So not just the AI written content. All right. Well, let's go look at the, at the cool stuff. I'm going to go and... Um, De-stress a little bit with uh, Monet's lilies here. Breathe in. It's a beautiful day. Um, now, this is, an, this is a writing software. It's a really, uh, it's really beautiful writing software. You know, we have a dark mode. We've got tons of accessibility features. Um, it's really a joy to write in here. And um, what's so cool about this uh, writing software it is completely created for, um, for performance. So over here, you see the SEO optimization, right? And for your given keyword, it will, um, it will score that article and give you recommendations on how to improve it. Now, what's so important here is that every keyword is different. There's a ton of nuance in there. We call that search intent. And Inc. is able to understand precisely what people who look for this topic are looking for, how to communicate to them, what tone of voice, how to use adverbs, how, how difficult can your sentences be, and what topics should be included. We use what's called semantic scoring to estimate the chances of your content ranking page one in Google. And guess what? High opt highly optimized ink scores, like over 90% scores, are four and a half times more likely to get your content on page one of Google. Now, why is this important? Well, because clicks cost a fortune. You're all running businesses, I'm assuming, so you know what I'm talking about, right? Who here wants to pay more money for paid ads? Nobody? <laughs> Gee, <laughs> I had just a package to sell you if you want to spend more money. <laughs> I wish I got more lucky. Maybe my next call, somebody will bite. <laughs> and Alexander, we only have about six minutes. So I yeah. think we could spend your hours. Let's go to the AI assistant and then the image generator. I just want to make sure the, the group here is able yeah. to. Let's do like Very a, impressive. Let's do yeah. like a new document. Don't worry, Gary. I got my eye on the on the timer. Um, but I always think an engaged audience is so much happier. So I'm going to just uh, not tell you this. I'm just going to, I'm going to just tell you in an email, write an email to Gary thanking uh, to thank him for giving me time to present to his trusted referral network friends. And then I'm going to give the context, for example, the ink demo, was um, a success and um, five members already are making money as affiliates. 
All right, I'm just gonna ask it to write an email. So I'm gonna click command and we're gonna see Inc. start to write an email here. So um, Gary, I just wanna say a big thank you for that. All right, so I'm thrilled that five members are now making money. So we can then enter the keyword and do all of that cool optimization we just talked about. All right, just show, going back to the app, you get the idea, you got the optimization, you've got the AI writing, you've got the planning, the keyword research, you got the protection, we've got the AI assistant. We just saw that it works as a standalone tool as well. If you rather not open up a whole document, you just want to write some quick copy. By the way, um, I had a Twitter post uh, last week that has 60,000 views. Cool, right? Well, I got some help here. I added, asked the Ink Assistant to help me write a thread. So um, maybe you can, guys can write a Twitter thread with this as well, or a LinkedIn post. AI images. So all you have to do is uh, write what you want to, uh, what it to make, and then you collect your filter, like uh, Instagram style filters. You choose the filter you want, and you hit compose, and it will generate images. So whether that is uh, donuts in space or a puppy uh, to emotionally manipulate you into buying ink, um, they can help you with whatever you're trying to do. And so, you know, we've got the dark theme. It supports uh, uh, team members as well. So uh, I've got actually 50 people in my plan. No, 66 team members. That's quite a lot. I can check my team usage. I'm not going to click on my plans. My CFO and security person will send me an angry email written in ink after that if I click on plans uh, uh, on cards. But um, yeah, so you have basically the month to month. You got the professional, it's everything you saw, unlimited words, unlimited SEO articles, unlimited images. It is really the best deal in the market. It replaces about seven other subscriptions that you would otherwise have to pay for in a single subscription. And you can forget about the anxiety of counting credits. How cool is that, All right? So again, if you're interested uh, for yourself, you can obviously check out inkforall.com. But um, if you know somebody, well, make some money from it. Um, send them a link to the ink page with your uh, with your personal affiliate link and you'll make 30% commission for life. We have an affiliate manager who is there full-time with only one job to make you guys successful in pitching ink. So if you need um, sales material or an email or whatever it is, that can help you present this to others. They're there full time to help you be successful with that. And so Gary, with that two minutes left, I will give it back to you. Awesome, great. I know there were a couple of questions and I did put a link in chat to the affiliate link um, for, for the group. Um, uh, Alexander, just one of the questions was, uh, can you show typewriter mode for a moment? Oh yeah, um, so typewriter mode, uh, will center, will always keep your text centered. It's like a typewriter, you hit uh, enter and the line, the paper moves up. So it does that for you. And then if you click on focus mode, it will also highlight the currently selected paragraph so that you're completely in the zone. You know, you can hide everything here. And then really cool, the sound mode. We, You'll have to experience this yourself. I can't do this over Zoom. But we have created a digital replica of Ernest Hemingway's favorite mechanical typewriter. So if you want to experience it, experience it for yourself, get into ink. Awesome. I want to just, there are a couple other questions. Um, somebody said, does it, can you use long tail keywords uh, in there? Yes, uh, you can. It's really up to you, whatever you want to type in here, add new key phrase, you can add it and you can optimize for it. I will say this though, with the keyword clustering tool, it will group your keyword research together. So you do not write four articles if they're really about the same search intent. It will save you a lot of time and money, uh, awesome. not creating extra content. Fantastic. There's another question is, can ink be added into the forthcoming GA4? Are you talking about Google Analytics 4? Yeah. Can ink be added into the forthcoming GA4? 
Well, you can measure your SEO outcomes with Google Analytics for, yes. Uh, we don't have a direct integration of Google Analytics for inside of our platform. You still need to consume your analytics with it, with GA4, but you can totally check your SEO outcomes there. Well, it'd be really anyway. It's not really in market, but I yeah, think it's, it's in market. It's in market. The other it, one is not. It, um, it, it is. It, uh, okay, yeah, it hasn't been retired. The old one hasn't been re fully retired yet, but it will be. All right. No, thank you, Michael. Yeah. I thought it was March. That, okay, maybe that's when they. Okay. Yeah, July. July is actually when they were supposed to sunset um, GA Universal. So this was great, and I am very impressed by the progress you made since you presented this last, which is probably about a year ago or so. Um, mm -hmm. Really amazing. Uh, I I told people with you know that it was amazing last time, so now it's super amazing. And uh, Leslie Law in the cloud. Oh, now. There's no app that there's no app that needs to be downloaded. It all lives in the cloud. This right. is night and day, Gary. Thank you. So I am going to. Um, we we do have. Geez, how many people do we have? Like twenty two people or something like that. Um, I'm going to drop the. Uh, the list in uh, of all of the attendees, um, and I'll include you, Gary, because you could talk about um, Edgy if you'd like. Uh, do, 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 chat to everyone, everyone in the meeting, um, and we're going to do a minute and a half. Actually, maybe yeah, like a minute and a half. Um, actually, I'm going to give a minute because we're really. Uh, with 22 a minute and a half is good we'll try that but please stick to it um and we'll start with if everybody would go on mute except of course for the speaker gary um i'm going to put everybody in speaker mode gary you could take it away and tell us a little bit about edgy um and uh, how things are going with that awesome go well thank you well thank you guys for the time to see ink really do appreciate it Inc. was basically born out of our agency. Our agency is Edgy Labs, and we really had to create incredible technology to be able to keep up with Fortune 100 clients like Toyota, Lexus, British Petroleum, companies of that size. And so we built our own artificial intelligence, fully patented. And then because software as a service is a different business to an agency, we spun that out as a separate company. So uh, we're still both running both of them very successfully. Um, and so, you know, I really encourage you to uh, take Inc. for a test drive, um, use it for uh, your clients. And then if there's ever a, you know, big agency client that you have, Fortune 100 company, it's our pleasure. You know, each of our companies has 50 people laser focused on, you know, our servicing from a full scale uh uh, business model on the agency side of it. You know, each team is a project manager. They have a data consultant. They have content writers. They have strategists. They have technical experts. And that's really how we run the agency business. And then Inc. is just really probably the most powerful tool that exists out there in the marketplace. So uh, thank you guys very much for the time and the opportunity to present today. Uh, my information is in there if you want to connect on LinkedIn. And then there's also the affiliate fee to go sign up for Inc. and start making mailbox money. Very cool. Okay, Joan, Joni Abraham, you're up. You got to take it off mute, Joni. That was pretty cool, I have to say. Um, amazing. And it's very timely right now, of course. Uh, what I wanted to promote today was my book, uh, Creating Brand Cool, Brand Distinction in the Online Marketplace. And it's a little tiny book. I'm not at home, so I don't have it with me, unfortunately. But it's all about the creative strategic thinking for social media content, um, as opposed to AI written content and but ideas on how to approach social media and make it interesting and engaging and storytelling and give personality to the brand and products um, it's a compilation of 20 years worth of lectures on e-commerce marketing at Parsons School of Design um, which was developed not only by me but with the input from my students over the last 20 years so I had kids who were absolutely on the edge of how to use social media. 
Uh, anyway, it's a, it's available on Amazon and my um, publisher's Rutledge. It's called twenty six more seconds. Okay, create um, creating brand cool. That's the name of the book. Very cool. And um, Joan is with Style Branding, and she's also the uh, genius behind Vidbits. Oh, thank you, thank you. Okay, um, Russ Brazano. I spelled your name wrong in here, but Russ. Okay. I saw forward. that, and I'm like, yeah, whatever. <laughs> Uh, how y'all doing? Um, so I am Russ. I'm a graphic designer, website designer. Um, I, I work either through agencies or directly with a client. Um, I also do things like I write HTML and CSS, but I also work in WordPress. Um, I can do things like I have clients where all I do is upkeep the WordPress site. So once a week I go in there, make sure everything's updated. Uh, like I found out, I found that sometimes when you have auto update on WordPress, it could crash the site because, you know, something may not be compatible and then the site goes down. Where when I update them, I'm doing it live and I'm actually looking at the site and I make sure everything stays up and, and current and there's no downtime that way. Um, yeah, so I mean, again, I'm looking for either to work through an agency or for clients directly. And that's a, a very unusual combination of skills to be able to both program and design. So Russ, Russ can do both. Yeah, I don't, I don't know if that just says how old I am or, you know, or for no, how long. No, I'm it's an unusual problem. skill set. Yeah, for sure. All right. And he, and he also plays music, as you can tell from the background, his, his guitars yeah. and things. Michael Filato. Hey, everybody. Michael Filato. I own Full Throttle Filato Leads. We do LinkedIn and email automation. The whole idea there is to spend more time selling, less time hunting. Um, we have about 25 clients, 20 to 25 clients, work with SaaS companies, services companies, uh, marketing companies, pretty much anybody that's looking to kind of reduce their time to, uh, to market. We've uh, been in business for about two years. First year is about 650, seven year was about, second year was about a million in revenue. And uh, it's growing pretty fast. We just hired Victor, um, who's uh, managing a lot of the new business and uh, also doing client support. Victor, Victor, you want to come over here and sh we'll share our time? Of course. My name is Victor. I'm with Full Throttle Filato Leads. Uh, we provide lead generation solutions for new businesses and existing businesses now. Uh, we've been working a lot with uh, our companies who are just startups as well. So I'm kind of working into working the, uh, the insides of mechanics of the business. So I'm Vic Miranda with Full Throttle Filato Leads. Thank you very much. Based in Florida. Yep. Okay. John Parsons, other end of the country. Other end of the country. Thanks, Michael. Um, John Parsons. I, I love discussions about AI because my, I want to say day job, maybe night job is I'm a ghost, nonfiction ghostwriter and book editor. And I just finished a book on AI. Yay. Uh, and ironically, on Friday, I'm going to start on another book that I'm ghosting on AI. So I think it's a trend. I'm not sure. Um, in my spare time, whatever that means, uh, I'm also a partner in a video business that emerged from my writing uh, called Into Ideas. We do uh, we do lots of different kinds of video work uh, for small businesses and agencies. But lately, we've been doing... Uh, interactive video and if anybody has a smartphone they can scan that the link is also in the chat and if if you're really lucky you will you will have received a postcard with that same qr code that explains what we do and i'm probably out of time unless somebody has questions you got more time you got 439 seconds oh cool um i can't sing well so i don't know what i'm going to do michael uh all right well, you, you could you could pass it along but uh, I, yield the, I yield the balance of my time how's that all right, that QR code, by the way, if you see it's in the foreground because uh, John knows how to do cool things with, with Zoom and video. All right. Um, John, Andre Archambault. Uh, hello, everybody. I'm going to keep this brief because I'm in a Starbucks, in the noisy Starbucks in Brooklyn. Um, great to see everybody. At the end of the day, I'm a digital advertising expert. There's, uh, But I've also been in... I've, I bought it, I've sold it, I've produced it. I did almost nothing in the media business I've not done. Um, and I, uh, I've got two or three projects that I'm working on at the moment. One is called Otis.ai. Another is a company, uh, 
music education platform called Parakeet. And uh, we've got a couple other things in the shoot as well. So out of respect for the background noise, I'm going to shut the heck up and, and, and yield back my time as well. All right. Uh, and Andre is also the consummate networker and is a business development professional uh, par excellence. All right. Let's see. Thanks. Billy Atwell, the savior. Yeah. So my name is Billy. I am the creative director for Sexy A of Creative Studios, where I'm known as the savior because I'm able to turn failures into successes by removing my clients' obstacles and replacing them with highly creative yet effective marketing uh, and branding strategies, such as Joni uh, here, as well as I've also worked for the CDC and UNAIDS. Um, and whether I do direct mail, I create video commercials or podcasts, essentially what I do is I help your brand to stand on top of the sea of ubiquity. Um, we've got a catchphrase here at Sexy AF, we're dope as fuck, and that's what we do for you making you stand out and be dope as fuck. So thanks for your time. Very cool. And um, well, Billy King. And, and, and his 40 seconds. If anybody saw my presentation last week, it was designed by Billy. Yeah, it was gorgeous. And uh, and Joan was kind enough to introduce me to Billy. So that's uh, you know, Billy comes via Joan. So thank you. All right, Sarita Jackson. Okay, hello everyone. The United States exports close to $3 billion worth of goods and services, or at least uh, as of last year. And a good portion of those are small and mid-sized companies. And what the Global Research Institute of International Trade does is we work so that we can make another small mid-sized company become another US export success story. And so that they can grow their business in the international market by leveraging the opportunities in the global market, as well as prepare for the risks that exist in the global market. And we do that through research, customized market research, strategy development, so that the SMEs can compete over the long term, increase their revenues, and eventually profit in the global market. I'm Sarita Jackson with the Global Research Institute of International Trade. Thank you. Everybody is cruising, and she is one of the few people here, I imagine, maybe the only with a PhD, and uh, <laughs> it goes deep into export. A lot of it is in food service, food, yeah. agricultural food. Yeah, most of my clients, yes, the food or the agricultural sector. Very cool. Sharon Mostyn. Hi, everybody. I'm Sharon Mostyn. I own Mostyn Marketing Group. Uh, we're a full service agency and as Michael likes to refer to us, the analytics people. So uh, I was excited to see the, uh, the GA4 question. Um, we ha have spent since March of last year when Google announced that uh, universal analytics, the, the, the lo long beloved uh, analytics program was being sunset. Um, we've been spending a lot of our time making companies transition from helping companies transition from uh, Google Analytics, Universal Analytics to GA4. It's not an easy process. Everybody hates GA4. We're here to help. Um, I've got about 49 seconds left, so I'll tell you a couple of the other things that we do. Uh, when we when we are not migrating sites, we uh, we work with uh, with other agencies and direct with clients um, to do email marketing, social media, search engine optimization. Uh, we are a Google partner, which basically means we've passed all the exams and we spend enough money with Google that occasionally they'll send us a coffee mug. So, uh, so we, uh, we do a little bit of everything for everybody. If there's anything I can do to help, just reach out. And also based on the West coast of Florida. Yes. All right. Thank you so much. And, um, picture of the, her boat, which survived the, the hurricane, I believe. Yes. Yeah. Covers not withstanding. Right. Covers not withstanding. Okay. Um, Mark Harry. Hi, everyone. I am Mark Carey. Uh, who knows how to make a smiley face in the chat? If you do, please add one if you've ever worked with a digital marketing vendor like a white label provider. Now, if you've had a bad experience, put a frowny face, obviously. But if you had, that'd be great. Um, I am the owner of SEO Game, uh, and it's a white label SEO firm. And it's 
what I do is because I enjoy helping digital marketers get better results for their search engine optimization needs. Uh, not just succeed with their vendor to get the best rankings that they could possibly get for their clients, but that could eventually set themselves apart from the competition in, in the area of whatever area you're servicing, whether you're servicing digital, uh, well, servicing clients in your local area or you've got a national campaign or e-commerce. I work on all websites that deserve to be on the first page of Google. And nothing gives me greater pleasure than supporting digital marketing companies that want to increase their uh, business and get better results for their clients. So with that, SEO Game provides 30-day trials, kind of like a test drive. And you get what you get when you uh, vendor with my services because I'll make sure all the websites and the keywords are number one first. And you don't pay until you get those results. And so... That's what I have to say. Thanks. Thank you so much, Mark Iorio. We have two marks in a row here. Thanks, Michael. Um, we uh, we solve the problem that uh, most organizations or teams have with the big disconnect between uh, the culture of the organization and the brand of the organization. Uh, migrating that culture toward that brand promise is not always easy to do. But my partners and I have developed a couple of tools. One is called the Brand and Culture Alignment Toolkit, uh, and the other is ProFit for Teams. ProFit is more of a uh, half-day workshop that uh, kind of feeds into B BCAT. Um, and basically what it does is it, we ask people to imagine their entire team as though it were a single person doing its best work on its best day. And as you select those words in our survey instrument, you start to... Uh, paint a picture of what that team looks like. Uh, we get people to understand what the behaviors are in the team and then ask at the end for each person to contribute uh, two or three things behaviorally that everyone can witness that helps migrate that culture toward that brand promise. So it's a, uh, an ongoing process. Uh, ProFit is basically a DIY program, unless you ask us to come in and, and do the full full scale uh, BCAT program, but uh, ProFit for Teams. My LinkedIn is in the uh, in the chat, and Russ Bruzano and I and my wife and his, I think wife back then. Russ took dance. Well, still <laughs> ten years ago, man. It, it's yeah. uh, I still can't dance, but. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, All I was right. wondering if you remember because that was a while. Ago. I certainly do. Thank you so much, Mark. Uh, David Libby. Thanks, Michael. Hey, everybody. I'm David Libby at twopins.com. We're a B2B tech public relations and content writing agency. I was thinking about how best to speak to this group. And I think, you know, one of the ways is to, you know, have us ask for introductions to your clients. I think a better way to think about this is a lot of us do complementary work. So if you are like Mark Harry said, SEO, we can create a strategic partnership with your firm and add PR or add content writing to your belt and vice versa. You know, I've been talking to Keith Reynolds, who's a CCMO, Chief Content Marketing Officer, about working with him and offering our services to his services to pitch. Sharon Mostyn, same thing. Kenneth Simon, a lot of you. Um, so there's an opportunity for us to work together. I think that uh, serves us best as a community. You can check more, check us out more at twopins.com. It's number two. We just updated our website. And uh, that's it. Thanks, Michael. Two pins, P-I-N-Z. All right, cool. Um, and you've, you're, I guess, ceding some of your time to Keith Reynolds. Keith. Hello, everybody. Keith, Keith Reynolds, and uh, I am on a mission to drive a new role called the Chief Content Marketing Officer, and that's somebody who's responsible for the performance of content, not the messaging, not the production, but the actual performance. Um, I've been in marketing career. Uh, I started out doing concerts and events, and producing a concert was very much like producing a website, I discovered, and 
have been building marketing programs around that for many years now. Um, I uh, released a white paper calling for the chief content marketing officer. I'll, I'll drop a link in the chat if you're interested in seeing the logic. But uh, what I love to do is go in and look at a marketplace and identify the content. What is being uh, published? What tools are they using? Uh, what technology do they have underlying their content and help you uh, create a competitive content strategy uh, built on a methodology that I've created about uh, seven or eight years ago. Wrote a book right before the pandemic launched and uh, really hitting the ground with the campaign this year to uh, push that methodology through the lens of the chief content marketing officer. And I'd love to talk to you. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. Um, Scott Lang, you're up. Here we go. Well, hello, everybody. Thank you very much. I'll take all the time that was given away. Oh, I said, no, okay. <laughs> <laughs> so I, I, most of you I've already met. Um, and thank you very much. Last week, I think it was, or two weeks ago, I gave a uh, a presentation on Marcos, the fintech platform. That's my principal client right now. So uh, essentially, I work uh, in partnering brands uh, with stuff, um, alliances, uh, sponsorships, marketing partnerships, and uh, have uh, been working across uh, the sports and entertainment space as well as philanthropy. And, and pretty much in the last three years, focused on uh, raising funds for underserved entrepreneurs from a variety of different sources, um, corporate, uh, philanthropy, and, uh, and governmental. Um, right now, um, knee deep in that, uh, and I certainly would, um, I don't have an ink system uh, with mail money, but I do uh, split commissions for introductions um, and, or work with referrals. Uh, so in addition to the Marcos program, uh, where we're interactive with big corporations um, and also with um, governmental agencies, as I mentioned earlier, I'm still hunting the naming rights for the Manhattan Center, uh, which is mostly known as the Hammerstein Ballroom for anybody in the New York area. Uh, it's diagonally across the street from the garden and uh, at 34th and 8th Avenue connected to the New Yorker Hotel. I'm also working with the- Got to catch you off, Scott. And that's the end of the story. <laughs> Thank you. All right. I, I propose naming it the Scott Lang Marketing Center. Yeah, right. Hello. <laughs> Ken Simon. I could succeed. I could see some time to Scott to finish if you'd like. But uh, anyway, I'm Ken Simon, KBS Marketing. I am a growth marketer and I work with small and mid-sized companies, helping them understand who their customers are and what their needs are and developing these strategies for them to use to grow their business, what channels to use, what and I, I mean, I I think I'm going to try to see if I, that ink system can work. I was very impressed with uh, that. And we've been playing around with the different AI systems. So I, I think that's something that we could I could potentially use for some of my clients. So I'll have to look into that. Um, and I, I work with companies in the financial services space, technology space, uh, at, and the startup community and, uh, and tech ed, you know, so that's who I work with. And that's you know anybody who's looking to uh, introduce a new product or service to their uh, to the market? You know that's that's the type of client I'm looking for. And I just, and I give my rest of my time back. All right, yeah, uh, Michael Corn, take it away. Good, I'll take the time. Uh, who here knows of a business owner who's so busy building his business that he doesn't focus on his personal financial planning, puts off the retirement planning, insurance planning, pers personal investments, et cetera, et cetera. I know many of those guys. I was that guy many years ago. I was a partner in an advertising agency in the first dot-com bubble. We sold it, built it for people, and then sold it. Now I'm a financial advisor, and I have to put the accidental business owner organize this financial world, have enough money for retirement, and protect the family along the way. Most business owners don't deal with all this stuff. They put it aside. I'm here to tell you that it's important stuff to do, and I, my focus is what one of my niches is working with marketing, media, technology, et cetera, clients. Um, we do a lot of interesting stuff. 
I put in the post the five retirement mistakes small business owners make. Take a look at it. And if you have any interest, let's have a one on one. Ken, I'd like to talk to you about small businesses. I'll reach out to you. Thank you. So, uh, Michael, just to let you know, your audio was a little bit, was uh, was difficult to hear. Yeah, I might want to check into that. All right. Uh, I'll see you personally. Let's see who is next. Uh, did, did, did Michael quit? Sam Leibowitz. All right. Thank you so much, Michael. Sam Leibowitz, talkradio.nyc. Alex, really appreciated the uh, presentation today. I've been looking into AI tools lately, and it's nice to see something that has like everything, even the art generation and in, in under one roof. So I'm waiting to get my affiliate link because I got a bunch of people I want to share this with. Uh, um, so I'm a done for you solution for people who want to have an online show, which is a great way to generate content. I'm more than happy to have people white label my service. If, if you are doing some kind of content marketing or uh, online marketing and, but you don't do podcast production, you don't do audio production, more than happy to have a conversation about, um, you know, uh, giving you my pricing seat and you can white label it and, and we can create a, a relationship. Um, what we do is a little different than just regular podcasting because we do our shows live. We stream the audio and the video out live. We get complete show transcripts. We do some social media before and after the shows and we write up show notes uh, for the host. So we're really a, a full service package. And for those who want to be on regular radio, we actually created a uh, relationship with a terrestrial radio station out of Palm Springs, California, where for a nominal fee, our hosts can have their shows aired on a terrestrial radio station as well. Sam Leibowitz, talkradio.nyc. Thank you. Good timing. Right on the nose. Ron Idra. Hello. Hi, everybody. Uh, thank you so much, Michael. And uh, I will join formally. I wasn't even aware that I was uh, still a guest. Um, I uh, started as a lawyer uh, in intellectual property law and then wrote two books, two editions of a book on the subject of law where I did theater work and then combined all these interests into a consultancy called Media for Professionals. And what we do is we address the digital media, full websites, marketing communications, um, and content together with messaging and strategy for mostly law firms, finance firms, hedge funds, uh, VCs, um, any type of investment uh, asset management firm. Um, and we work kind of holistically with our clients to put together campaigns, uh, websites, uh, investment decks, um, and anything else that's needed by our clients. Uh, and happy to discuss anything in more detail. Uh, once again, media for professionals. Wonderful. Thank you. Thank you. And I do recall that uh, lawyers in particular, your thing, but also Law having firms. been one. Yes, exactly. exactly. <laughs> All right. Jason Cement. Hi there. I'm going to post it in the uh, chat. My name is Jason Cement. I run uh, one and a half businesses. So one of them is a agency called Get Visible. We'd like to say we collaborate with Rainmakers. We want to bring in the money and we help them produce traffic leads and uh, sales and manage their online reputation. So that's the easy stuff for my agency. But for this group, since so many of you do what, what I do, or I do what you guys do, more importantly is an e-commerce platform. So if you're familiar with Shopify and Magento or at the low end, the WooCommerce, there's another platform. It's called Adricom. It's been around since 2003, uh, but it's only really come into the market because it had private usage before uh about two years ago and it's it's a very cool platform for sophisticated projects if you're doing cookie cutter stuff like on shopify don't call but if you have something that requires custom programming or just stuff that's not typical uh you can deliver a solution for a quarter of the price of what you'd use for something either custom done or a magenta type thing. So it's called Adricom. It stands for the American Dream Company because the founder always wanted to move to America, which he did. And he probably should stop working now. But anyway, 
There we go. <laughs> He's been that successful. That's great. Okay. Yeah. Um, let's see. Roger Brooks. Uh, <clears throat> thanks, Michael. Uh, hi, all. Uh, my gig is market research, um, recently tran transitioned out of the corporate world, but still pretty much do the same things I did when I was in the corporate environment, um, leveraging research to help companies make, to lower their risk in their business decision-making and also lower their costs and increase opportunities for success. Everything from ranging from evaluating new product potential and <clears throat> there, and also uncovering uh, strengths and weaknesses um, against your competition on brand and product attributes. Uh, key partners for me are anybody in the brand development world, product development. Those were key internal clients when I worked at places like LinkedIn, <clears throat> YouTube. Uh, so uh, essentially, my mission in life is to reduce the seat of the pants decision-making and incorporate uh, the opinions and behaviors of uh, customers and targeted non-customers. Very cool. So one of our, we do have a couple of other market researchers, but Roger is becoming the most active among them. So that's great. <laughs> okay. Um, Leslie Lawton, good, take good. it away. And I'm unmuted. What do you know? I'm a um, award-winning copywriter and creative director in the San Francisco Bay Area. I have experience in almost all uh, industries uh, in, in doing just about everything, probably everything. Um, I'm currently reformulating my business model to help companies tell their sustainability stories fearlessly. There's a lot of risk in stepping into sustainability communications. You have to base everything you say and do on truthful, clear, transparent metrics and metrics is not what I do. What I do is helping comp help companies deal with market demands, help them stay competitive uh, in and around the huge amount of interest in companies that are um, really, really starting to wrangle their GHG emissions. Can you tell me how much time I have? I'm kind of- You have 32 seconds left. Yay, okay. Um, Emissions data is a is a data analytics job. That's not my cup of tea. So I'm more about inspiring and galvanizing all the company stakeholders. I'm looking for referrals to mid-sized companies, even larger CMOs, brand VPs, and certainly sustainability directors. And stakeholders, I'll get into that the next time I, uh, I do my my spiel. All More right. Thank, Thanks. Thank you. Um, Rajiv, we are getting down to the wire here. Rajiv, you're up. Yeah, I'll keep it brief. Uh, as you can see from my Zoom background, I'm an assassin. Yes, you heard me right. An assassin. I take things out from the internet. What, what does that mean? I delete, destroy, obliterate, eradicate, erase, bad press, scandal, and bad reviews from Google, social, and the internet. Why? Because that's bad stuff and that's keeping good people like you away from good businesses like you. And that's what I do. We have a success guarantee. If the outcome is not realized, you get your money back. It's as simple as that. Uh, I get a lot of my business from uh, marketing peers like you. That's why I'm here. I've gotten a lot of business from this group, from uh, a few people in the room, some that are in the room, some that aren't in the room. And uh, it's a big thank you because you guys get paid, I get paid, the client gets taken care of, and it's a win-win situation. Uh, yeah, I'll, uh, I will leave it there. They say short is sweet, so I'll leave it there. Back to you, Mike. Thank you. Thank you very much. And it looks like I just have enough. I haven't left anybody off, have I? I think I had Sam Leibowitz twice in the list, so but I got him. I would speak now or hold your peace for another week. Okay. Uh, my name is Michael Bendit, and my core business, besides running this network, is I represent software development teams. And what does that mean? So I have about a dozen teams that are technically focused, uh, and what we do is we build the engine of the website, the e-commerce site, the mobile application. We're really technically oriented, and we that makes us work very well with other agencies, marketing agencies, digital agencies that have a very broad range of things to, to focus on, including design, including you know, content, uh, pay-per-click, et cetera. 
uh, and they don't either want to bother with or have the resources in-house to do the actual programming. Um, so my teams, they tend to be, you know, technically oriented, uh, pretty geeky, but it, it comes with the territory. I help them get out there and sell their services and their capabilities. Um, something you'll find about uh, oftentimes about uh, uh, good technical people is they're not great at selling. They prefer to do rather than sell. Uh, I'm out there helping them promote themselves and and match them with uh, projects that do fit their capabilities. Um, so great leads for me are digital agents, digital marketing agencies, uh, digital designers, so uh, web designers, uh, and any small business that's looking for a website or a custom custom program. Okay, um, I will move it back to. Uh, gallery mode and it's pretty much it we're almost we have one minute left uh any comments questions now would be a good time to save the chat um if you go to the open up your chat and click on the three buttons on the, the three dots in the bottom left uh, that'll open up a menu more and save chats the first of them uh, i encourage everybody to uh download or get an affiliate link from Inc. Thank you very much, Gary and Alexander, for that very impressive presentation in the short 15 minutes that we had. Uh, the other thing I encourage people to do is we only got one and a half minutes to meet each other here. So find somebody in the group that, you, that resonated with you and connect with them before next week's meeting. Uh, the one-on-ones really is where things you know, uh, gel because uh, one and a half minutes, even three minutes is not really enough, but it's something somebody said resonates with you. And you think, geez, I could work with that person. Or I'd like to learn more, reach out. If you can't remember their name, reach out to me and I'll connect you. Uh, you should also be able to uh, find them on from their company name on the trusted referral um, uh, network site. Um, and the, we have one guest who's not on that yet. Um, but he's going to be on soon, apparently. So looking forward to that. Also, if you have friends who are going to, are interested, uh, friends, people that you work with um, who are interested in exploring the network, have them come to a meeting. Um, the uh, the discount code is available to everyone. Uh, it is uh, TRN hyphen free hyphen pass, all capitals. Again, you can ask me um, if you forget that. So thank you, everybody. I'm putting it that in the, um, actually, I'm not going to do it right now. Have a wonderful evening. And <laughs> thank you all for coming and for making this a record turnout for the Trusted Referral Network. Thank you, Michael. Great. Thanks, Michael. Thanks, Michael. See everybody.